Alrighty, I'm gonna do another video today. Actually, here's a, a 2006 PT Cruiser convertible we just purchased. Um, been driving it on some nice days. I want to do a full video tour of it uh, as far as its operation at the top and what it's like to sit inside and things of that nature. Neat little car. I know it's rather polarizing. People either love them or hate them, but I will give the PT credit. Um, it really created a niche market in the early 2000s. A lot of people got interested in modifying them. You know, as a car guy, I can certainly appreciate that. And uh, there's a lot of functionality. You know, if you ever want to consider buying one, I think they're a pretty solid car. Um, under the hood, it's kind of cramped to work on. You know, I definitely leave that to a pro. So, as far as doing spark plugs and things like that, because you have to take out the intake manifold. Um, our uh, focus for today, though, is the uh, 2012 Volt that I purchased in February. And Skip here is my friendly five-year-old Brittany. I've been doing some grocery or some shopping, actually. Got myself a new uh, shop vac by Rigid, I guess. Um, one thing we're looking at is taking a trip here in the near future, and I did a series of videos when I was shopping for cars about do dog crates fit or not. And either, these are the uh, mid-size, great choice um, dog crates. I'll have to get the exact dimensions, and I'll put them on the video uh, at a later point in time. But um, in the Chevy Volt, uh, you have a fold-down back seat. You do have uh, basically quite a decent-sized cargo area. Skip would agree with that. Um, but unfortunately, uh, there is a bit of a trade-off with the uh, fastback design. And the hatch does cut into a bit of the bit of the room that you'll need. Um, you can get the crates in side by side, but unfortunately, you have to fold the back seats down. They're just a little shade too long. You can't get the seats up at all. Um, this is about as far as they go. Uh, I could try pushing them back a little bit, but then you're getting into um, you're getting into the where the uh, hatch is, and it's just not going to work. So, uh, if you're traveling with yourself and another person, uh, you have plenty of room for the dogs and whatever cargo you need to carry, uh, as long as you treat the car as a two-seater. And um, as people know, you know I've got a seven-passenger minivan which we use for the big road trips, and this is for me to commute back and forth to work. But I do take it on extended drives on occasion utilize the um, car's extended range capability. So, Skip's hopped in, he's got to check things out. I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to face the uh, kennels forward. It'll be easier for the dogs to get in and out of. I'll just have them exit through the rear doors. Um, obviously, as Skip is demonstrating here, it's a bit difficult to hop in uh, through the rear hatch. There's this, uh, it's not a flat load space. There's a bit of an overhang there, so uh, not going to happen. So anyway, uh, otherwise, uh, I'll do some more Volt updates as far as the mileage I'm getting and the range I'm getting with it. Um, it's been an awesome little car. It's a lot of fun to drive. I'm really surprised. It has a very, I would describe a Germanic driving feel to it, especially for a front drive car. And the um, smoothness, seamless operation, and uh, the torque that you have at the low end, I mean, it's pretty amazing. This thing does really well off the line. Um, so, you know, very much this car has kind of been an experiment for me. Um, in General Motors, I kind of run hot and cold with them. I've had some cars where I've had great experience with them. I've had some cars that have been absolute lemons. Uh, this one's a good one. So, um, I only got 14,000 miles on it now. So, you know, there's time, you know, to sort of get to know it a little further. So, overall, pretty impressive. And, uh, yes, I can take the dogs with me and one other person. So... That's kind of our update for today, and uh, Skip's looking forward to our trip tomorrow with his uh, his uh, other dog, or our other dog buddy. So, right, Skip? You looking forward to a car ride tomorrow? I bet you are. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Talk to you later.